Hello, Terraria enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod! So, in yesterday's episode, we took down the hellish version of Providence, and we also took down the boss with a really awesome name that isn't that awesome to fight, the Storm Weaver. So, in today's episode, we've got two more mini-bosses to actually face off against. Using the Rune of Koz, we have one in the dungeon, and one in hell. Now, what I did to prepare for today's episode was I actually went ahead and made a drill containment unit, and this was really good. If you combine this with a Zen potion, you can essentially clear out your dungeon nice and easily, which is important because we're gonna need that space for the next two boss fights, both the mini boss today and then Poltergast whenever. Let me turn on this music. Let's get all hyped for today. So let me buy a Zen potion real quick because I wanna go back into the dungeon to actually start, uh, well, getting on with this boss fight. And if you use Zen, oh man, so much easier. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Oh, I love it. That is like quite literally my favorite song in Calamity now. So I found something really funny on the internet last night, and I think you guys are going to quite like it. So one of the things I do quite frequently is I go onto car reselling websites because I never actually cared about cars growing up. My family didn't have a car. And I only started to learn about cars after I could drive one, which is quite ironic. But I always look on these reselling websites because I go, hey, I've never seen that car before. What's that car? Let me do a little bit of research about it. And, uh, and one of the ones that was on the front page yesterday was some form of Lamborghini. I don't know what kind of Lamborghini it is. I'm still kind of learning my, uh, my cars. And <laughs> this was the best part about it. It wasn't just any Lamborghini. It was, in fact, the most broken Lamborghini I've ever seen in my life. And obviously, I've not seen many Lamborghinis. And uh, it was wrecked. The first front, like, the front of the car was shredded. Obviously, in a car crash, the front of the car is meant to crumple up to, like, negate some of the whiplash and stuff like that. It was bad. It was really bad. But this was the best part about it. It was being sold for a whopping, and I'm going to say this in British price first, a whopping 40 thousand pounds for a smashed up Lamborghini. It's crazy. And as many people pointing out, because I posted this on Twitter, you could probably strip all the parts out and sell them on and make a profit. But it just blew my mind that somebody was like, okay, we've got a crashed up car, 40,000. So in America, that would probably be about like $48,000. I don't know. I thought that would make you laugh. So we're going to buff up and, uh, and begin. This isn't the only thing I've built today. No, no, no. You're in for a surprise. I'm sure many of you already know what I've actually built. I didn't mean to take that then, but uh, it's definitely a surprise. But one second, though. I need to quickly get something up before I start. All right, there we go. I needed something up on the, the second monitor real quick. Well, I have one monitor. It's split into whatever. <laughs> right. Okay. So I can't remember what this is called, but we'll give it a go. It's called the Ceaseless Void. I would have said Ceaseless Void as well, actually. Oh, I remember you. I remember you. I just know that there are some bosses that are in Calamity that require such a large arena. And that's part of the reason why I like Calamity. Because I like preparing for bosses like this. I find it to be quite amusing to be able to like, okay, I've got to make a giant arena today. That's quite cool. Because obviously in Terraria, there are so many bosses that don't require any kind of world manipulation. You know, you want to do the Eye of Cthulhu, all you've really got to do is make a small little area uh, just to run across, essentially. But with Calamity, so many bosses need entire world biome changing. So, for example, when we did Providence, I had to completely re-warp my Halo biome. When we did uh, the one in Hell, I needed to completely re-warp Hell, and that's what I really like. It's part of the fun of it for me, because Calamity really, like, I don't know... It just, like, rewards players that take the time to just manipulate the world. Because the bosses are so big and so grand that if you don't, you don't get anywhere. But I would love to see a Calamity where it's not 100% reliant on making these arenas. I think it would be very interesting. So there is the Ceaseless Void gone from this world. Pretty easy fight when you uh, when you mine out such a large area. But I knew that I needed this large area for, uh, well, for Poltergast. So... Let's talk about yesterday. So in yesterday's episode, I said, hey, whichever comment gets the most likes, I will build it in Terraria. And wow, the, the, the response was pretty crazy. So I actually posted the video. I went and made a drink. So I was gone for about six minutes. 
and I came back to the video and one comment already had over a hundred likes, which is crazy. So currently as I am I'm recording this, the Piano Penguin 68954 left me a comment saying build a giant washing machine and it currently has over a thousand likes, which is actually more than the video has. Whoa, <laughs> you guys make me laugh so much. So I did do it. I built the giant washing machine. So I have to say, when it comes to asking you guys to give me suggestions for buildings, so far, 100% success rate. This will be the uh, only time I do it for now. But uh, oh, I really shouldn't show it. I'm going to show you the sped up version so you can enjoy how I built it. And then we'll take a look in greater detail in a second. So enjoy this little speed up. It's about a minute long. I don't know. Maybe a little bit longer. Enjoy. So, I hope you loved it. Here it is. Here's the final version. I actually decreased this area that I built and put some gold brick around it. If you're wondering how I actually went ahead and built this, I did rob some diamonds from my other world because you needed a lot of diamonds to build this. I thought going into it that I could just buy the gem spark blocks, but you can't. So, just to explain, I didn't farm for diamonds for hours. I, I did go and rob them from my other world. I apologize. But this is how I ended it up. I, uh, I tried to add a little bit of perspective by adding adding like a shadowy side to it. This is where the controls are meant to be. And then that was where the logo would be. I also tried to add a pump feature to it. It didn't look right, so I removed it. But I added in a little hat and a little pair of jeans to, to be in the broken washing machine. What do you think? Do you like it? Thank you for your suggestions, everyone. Um, I must say, though, I'm not going to lie. Like I'll be truthful. When this one was added to the comment section, it rose to the top so quickly, there was almost no competition. But then again, what you're doing is you're also voting for what you want to see. So in a way, it's competition for nobody. But I don't know. <laughs> so there you go. Right. <laughs> that was that was cool. That took me a little while to build. So we got some dark plasma. I didn't get too much of this unless I uh, just literally mobbed it all and put it away. So you've got the missile storm. You've got the Molecular Manipulator, which is a... Oh, okay, so this is a gun. It is, is it nullable or not? Let's find out. Fires a fast null bullet that distorts NPC stats. Uses your life as ammo. This seems like it'd be a very interesting thing to make. Nullification Pistol. I don't know where to get this from, but this is very interesting indeed. What else? You can also make the Cosmic Worm. That's D.O.G., and the Phantasmal Fury. Ooh, Phantasmal Fury. So I can't make that either. But uh, very cool stuff. Let's put this away. And I also got the trophy for it, which is quite cool. I will bang that up there, I guess. Nice. And we're going to go down into hell. 
So, other than that, other than finding this smashed up Lamborghini, everything's been a, uh, it's been pretty chill today. I, I woke up and I was like, okay, I've got a few, ch I've got a few chores to do. And one of them was, I need to like sort out the leaves in the garden. If you watched any of my vlogs, you will know that that's kind of like a daily occurrence. It's a very large stack of leaves. And I looked at it today and it was like the large stack of leaves times five. It's ridiculous. And I promised my partner I would do it because she's at work today. And I was like, okay, I promise I'll, I'll go to these leaves. And then all it's done all day is basically just like mob it down with rain. So like the inevitability is after I record this, I've got to go and like get soaking, picking up some leaves. So, you know, big rip for me. Ah, I didn't actually get rid of this. I'll get rid of this for now. And we will, uh, yeah, we will mine this out. But there were a few other suggestions for buildings. So maybe you can actually add them to future episodes. I'll let you know when we do this again. But just to highlight a few, uh, we got one that said build a bunker in the big planetoid. That was probably second that had 70 likes. So in comparison, over a thousand to 70. There's no real competition. There is one called, let me just check this out. One from the Shadow King that said, build a giant cactus with a cloth year hat. As you all know, I did do that in the Mega Mod Pack. Isaac wrote, build a TARDIS from Doctor Who. I think that would be really sick. That'd be really hard to build, but would be awesome. I got, build a taco with sombrero and a mustache. Who agrees? And that got quite a few likes. I also got one that said, I'm just scrolling through them now to make sure I've read out a few. Um, build a calamitous pixel art, like so James can see. Yeah, cool. Cool idea. Right, okay. Rune of cost time. Let's begin. Cygnus. Right, where are you, Cygnus? You're like a ghost. Yeah, I remember you, Cygnus. This one's the hardest one out of the, uh, the, the, the few, I think. Because it teleports so often. Yeah, it is. I remember this. I feel like when I did this in an old series, I was less prepared. Oh, I remember this. You have the, uh, the lamps and you can't, like, um... I'm going to be honest, I'm not fully concentrating because it's kind of hard to, like, really, like, pay attention to what I'm doing. But the lamps essentially, like, keep you in an area. You're not meant to, like, just run away from it. You're meant to stay, like, almost circling it. Yeah, if I remember correctly, in my, uh, in my death mode series, this was a big problem for me. Okay. Because of the lamps. And because I thought it teleported too often. But times change, man. This could be uh, slightly uh, reworked since then. I don't fully know. Yeah, I remember being super moody because I would build up adrenaline and then I wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Right, here's the rage because it would teleport so frequently. Okay, I'm really just trying to concentrate now. I'm not fully following the attacks, so I can't really commentate too much about those. All right, sickness. Sway! Okay. Oh my god. Haha, <laughs> there you go, Cygnus. See you later, dude. Man, this uh, Shredder is really carrying me through a lot of this stuff. It's quite cool, actually, to see. I do want to go to, like, some other classes, though, at some point. I want to um, I want to work on that. The only problem is, once you've done that, you've got to start to, um, to basically, like, rework some of the big mega accessories, and that could be quite daunting. Okay. Right, so we got ourselves some Twisting Nether. This is once again a big crafting thing for the, um, well, it's for the DOG. But I believe what you need, actually no, you can do DOG now, okay. So one of the things it makes is the Ether's Whisper. So this is a mana gun, quite cool. And this is the Venusian Trident. Ah, oh, very cool. Venusian Trident sounds pretty sick. But this uses Phantoplasm, and I can't remember where you fully get Phantoplasm from, I'm not gonna lie. I have a feeling it's like, after you've done Poltergast, or something that spawns Poltergast. Let's actually double check, because I'm not fully sure. So if I click on it, I might be able to tell. Well, let's see, because we've got to do Poltergast next. So let's open this up and double check everything. I wish my mind worked like a Wikipedia page, I really do. So, to do Poltergast, you need the Necroplasmic Beacon. It's spooky. Use a Necroplasm Beacon in the dungeon or kill 30 Phantom Spirits. So, has my dungeon already been warped or not? Because that's what I want to know. Hmm. Well, they should be here then. If I can do it next, they should already be down there. 
I've got to be honest, like the last two times I've been down there, it's with a, uh, a, a, a Zen potion anyway. So I have got bullets. I've got enough bullets to really like do a fight. I could do with more bullets though. Have I got any more that I could just rob? Because what you've got to do is you've got to farm away at 30 of these things. So that could take a little while. Okay, bullets. Right, so we still have a lot of the terror bullets. So I'll end up using these. Which is kind of the, like the perk of uh, making these uh, in advance and just storing them away. Okay, so 30 of them. Huh. And I imagine I'm going to get some phantoplasm? I can't remember, honestly. I wish I could. I'm like proper trying to think back to like how you get this one particular item. But it would kind of make sense because a lot of the, the, lot of the crafting materials we've got from the mini bosses all require a little bit of phantoplasm to make anything. And I'd really like to make some stuff before I go into DOG or anything like that. Let's go down to the dungeon. Let's go see what we can find. We might be like weirdly out leveled because I'm not using Zen, but we'll see. So we need the uh, the nice large open area again. Away we go. I don't know if any of them can drop it or if it's like um I have a feeling it kind of works like um ectoplasm. Oh yeah, phantoplasm ectoplasm. That would make sense. Yeah, that's how it works. You get phantoplasm from uh from the dungeon. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to, um, I don't know, let's auto pause real quick. Do we farm for a weapon or do we continue at our current rate? That's the question. Right, so these are all the things that they can make. So they can make the upgrade once you've got DOG for the wings. You can make the quiver soon. I don't know when these events get warped so that you can get endothermic and nightmare fuel. Might need a little bit of help with that one. You can also make the gauntlet, the core of the blood god. These are like high-end accessories. I mean, that's auric. So when do you get that? You've also got the sponge. That's something I need to work on, that is. That's a really hard accessory to start farming away for. But I will start working on that in the background of videos for a little while. You've got dragon fruit. Dragon fruit uses yarn feathers, so I can't get that. And then these are weapons that you would use on Supreme Calamitous, so... I think what I'm going to do then is I'm going to farm out for Poltergast and give it a first go and just see how we do. And if we get our butts beat, what we'll do is we'll go to the comment section and I'll get some advice from you lot. Okay, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> All right, I've got to make sure I... Uh, I've got to be honest, this is a terrible start to the fight because uh, I didn't really get to like fully... Um, get prepared so i looked it up it's you have to kill 30 of the things not pick up 30 of the things which makes sense because i noticed that some of them were actually dropping no i got stuck on a block yeah some of them were actually dropping uh double um phantoplasm oh this has gone terribly i'm so gutted because obviously like i put a lot of work into farming away at this and uh i just think it's gone uh bad because of the way that the fight started which is a little bit gutted but whatever whatever okay Oh, God, I'm going to clear out this arena as well and make sure that there are no blocks to really get stuck on as well. Whoa, okay, that's new. That's really new. You have a second attack now and you spawn two. That's really cool. I like that. That's a good little change. Oh, man. Oh, well, I think Poltergast is, is maybe something for tomorrow then. But that was good. I enjoyed that. Especially, like, looking at it and, uh, and seeing something new. That's cool. Like, how I remember it is it would just be like Plantera pretty much all the way through. So, I am going to end today's episode off there. And, uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. Because what we'll do is we'll get some feedback from you guys. And, uh, and we'll get making some new stuff for Poltergast. Although, I feel like I might give it a good chance if I actually end up, uh, well, getting the chance to do it properly. So, that was great. Okay. Well, I just want to say, once again, thank you to all of you who left ideas for what we should build. It was a really cool thing to do, and uh, yeah, and it worked out really well. And hopefully you all like the washing machine, because I think it's awesome. I really do. So yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.